I don't really know what I'm doing, but that other Karaidon is down there, so I'm going to follow my heart. We just go to the bottom research station, fly down. All right, we'll Karaidon ride down here. Yay, now we can just go and jump through and skip everything. Nice. So we do that, and I guess... Oh, hey, <laughs> that was a lot easier than I expected. So we have, we have quite, ooh, large candy. I actually really, really could use that. So I have a plan. It's called YOLO. We gonna throw a quick ball, and if that doesn't work, we throw on our master ball because I don't think I'm going to find another use for it. Even though it might help with some of the, like, four soft legendary Pokemon, whatever those are considered. Okay, Oracalcum Pulse is strong. That's right. Like, yo, imagine if you aren't using a Master Ball in this fight, could actually get sketchy. Uh, throw the Quick Ball. Man, I could really upset some people and just waste a Beast Ball right here. That was closer than it had any right to be. I'm like, I'm wondering, like, what we do. Like, how much do we just cheese this one out? Uh, yo. Repeat Ball technically works on the legendary that's kind of funny i wonder if it also has like the modern higher catch rates that you find on some legendary pokemon because that amount of shakes kind of silly unfortunately i underestimated how trivial this would be and I'm wondering, maybe they changed the shake algorithm because now if you've like already caught a Pokemon, it just shakes once and then catches or something. And now it seems like it's getting harder to catch Pokemon. And just like any legendary thing, you can eventually stall it out, throw a timer ball, and that makes it even easier. So I guess we're just kind of in a full-on, legit, like, legendary catch instead of just blowing a Master Ball. Oh snap! I was wondering, I was like, wait a second, has the catch rate actually been posted? Catch rate of three. So we don't have, like, the modern easy catch, which makes things even weirder. And that's just a part of the stats that we have for the data mine that's been out there. So, it, it just be like that. Okay, I threw out another play rough, and that is as close as we are cutting it. So, now some more repeat balls, and then some timer balls, and... Oh, there it is. Okay. The, I, wow, okay, there was no threat. He mad. Is he talking with mine? I don't know. Uh, let's check the boxes, and then we can see the summary. Level 72. We got best attack, best speed, that's all I care about. Wait, and an adamant nature? Neat. I'm pretty sure that means we just get to do some straight up meme stuff right now with this game, which is also why you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all my description, playlist videos, and watch everything because it just sets you up to be the goaded player in this game. So, protein? Sure. Let's just buy 26 of those and then immediately max this thing's attack. Also, going back to the data mine, this thing's stats are busted. As a competitive player, I ignore legendary Pokemon, which is also why it didn't even occur to me until this point to catch the legendary and then train it for raids. I, I know you can use legendaries in raids, but I I'm just so anti-legendary that that's a thing. 135 attack, 135 speed. Broken. Oh, there goes all of our money and LP. Well, we hopefully we, we get that money back in the investment of this legendary Pokemon. So we got that. We don't need to mint. Uh, that just pretty much leaves hyper training? The ghost town has this Chad who does hyper training, so let's do that. Unfortunately, we did get the special attack roll, but whatever. We 20k and we're set, even though, again, uh, the money's getting rough. Okay, so the plan is we're just going to... Okay, so the plan is we just take the choice band off of Quaval put it onto the Karaidon. This is effectively a sneak peek at like the competitive Pokemon things in this game. So now we go max carbs. Easy. 
We also have the choice band, so we can give that to him now. Uh, not waste on the mint. And then we have to go for protein. And conveniently, we have a lot of PP ups just from the game, but also pickup, which means collision course can be maxed out. It is kind of funny that with like all the multiple usage stuff, you still have to do PP up one at a time. But all right, that's set. And we could also work on the move set. Next up, I'm really hoping I have enough. Oh, I definitely have enough candies to make this work. 27 rare candies. When did I get all those? I don't know. Um, EXP candy. So we also have 25 large to give to this legendary boy. That's level 83. All these mediums and a couple of extra large. Wow. So this is this is where the grinding has gone. All of the gameplay effectively to get to this point and now we just like giga boost and snowball and have nothing to worry about whatsoever and this is only on the third day we also have a lot of money potential like we just sell all that we'll be back in it boys and that leaves this so do we have outrage we do not but we also don't need it, because now that we have gotten levels, we can uh, just learn the move that we want for this Pokemon. So change moves, remember moves, outrage. Ooh, close combat. I'm also thinking maybe we play for the tech. We have breaking swipe in case it's like a really heavy, physical, crazy attacker raid. And then even though they can cleanse the ne negative effects, you just keep breaking swipe them. And... I'm actually thinking Drain Punch, because Choice Banded Drain Punch is still going to slap, and it's also going to heal us for a significant amount. So, like, we just we just made the ultimate raid boss boss. Cool. Alright, let's go and try this one out. So, there's a rock raid over here, and I really hope it's super. So, I guess it's also about building the ultimate mega Chad team of, like, yeah, I'm just covered for every super effective raid. I know I one-shot this, that's not interesting. I can't find any level 5 raids to flex on. I wonder if it is just kind of worth clearing them as you go, or what the raid den spawning is like. Yeah, that god's on its way at some point, I guess, but I mean, like, this is just gone. Cool. So, I mean, what are the rewards for a minute of our time? Actually, the Terra Shards, probably a good reason for doing it. But 16,000 experience, 19, 20, 2,000 experience, eh, alright, and then a small, small amount of money. See, the 4-star raid's barely worth it, we really just need 5-star. Alright, now we're talking a 5-star Breloom raid. How much trouble is this going to be? So, like, neutral raids can get kind of tough. But Breloom is at least a very frail Pokemon, and if we immediately don't get Spored, this could actually turn out pretty well. So, he doesn't really hurt us, and we do have, like, good speed and stuff on it. So the Outrage does some damage. There we go, there's just a little headbutt. That's fine. Leer helping out. There's the sp Dead butts. Wow! He just, he just went through those out so fast. Um, alright, we're still on our Outrage. Cool. That, that just hurting a lot more because of the Leer. Let's go. We did get the early two-turn confusion. Seed Bomb. I kind of wanted to get Sport right there. That way I could cheer on and then heal up and get all that taken. So, Terror Orb, Charge Steel, fine. Energy, fine. I mean, this is going to be like a two-minute raid. Unless we one-shot ourselves in confusion, but it doesn't work that way. So, as long as, long as we don't get confused here... It's actually going to be pretty nasty. Right? Cool. Because so I'm about to say, the only thing the Confusion nerf meant is that I hit myself more in Confusion, and the, then my opponents never hit themselves in Confusion, which is kind of just unfair. So, yeah, Breloom not too threatening on the typing into a Coridon, which is pretty nice. I think once I build out just, like, more Pokemon to cover for every typing, we will have the ultimate team for this. All right, so we got a Brave Mint, a Naughty Mint, some candies, eh, mid-rewards. Uh, 
Oh man, this one's probably going to suck. Five star Arcanine. That's an intim. Hopefully, it doesn't have Intimidate. Something like that's an Intimidate. It's also just a bulky Pokemon, but it doesn't have any strength against us. Like Mono Fire based Pokemon, not that's just going to be throwing into a Dragon type. So might be doable. Oh, and I power him up with the Sun. Oh, that was a crit. Never mind. So yeah. Bulky Pokemon are weird, because if you just, like, survive the Onslaught, the damage doesn't really matter, and then it doesn't get too spooky. But, oh, wow, actually, no, this is going to be potentially easier than Breloom, because I guess this, the, I don't know, we're, we're still early on. Things are kind of weird with all this, because, yeah, the Pokemon puts up its shields, and then that kind of, like, stalls it out, even for a bulky Pokemon, or even for, a, like, a frail Pokemon. Then the bulky ones can still just, like, stack pain onto you. Oh, we just got an ability capsule. That's pretty nice. Comet Shard, Star Piece, Rare Candy, some extra large. Okay, not bad for a neutral matchup into a pretty nasty Pokemon. All right, five star Altaria Raid. That took about four minutes. We did it. It, it just used a Cotton Guard and like super stalled it out. But it's one of those things like now we can just kind of clear any five-star raid. Ooh, Sour Herba. And then a little bit extra, but nothing crazy crazy. I want to do like one more raid. Yeah, I don't know how the Terra raid spawning works, how long you have to wait to get them and all of that stuff. So I just decided to go online and do some pleb raids. No one's really posting their five stars. So I wonder if that's what you do. You just like put up a five star for other people to join if you've got it and if it's too difficult for you or like somewhat challenging because I think the amount of like competent people just speeds it up so much to where even the connection even the waiting to get people in kind of makes it worth it uh this is a four star raid on random like kind of just seems worthless the, the rewards are definitely not worth it I just did it because I needed to wrap it up with one more wow these people are weak like, that flower trick did nothing. I just had to come in and carry with my legendary Pokemon. I am not a benevolent person. This harms my min-max. These kids can stay noob. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can be nice. You can go and take your legendary and help out three-star raids. To me, if you're not, like, throwing up a five-star raid, you're just wasting my time. What? How did we get four star pieces? Never mind. Okay, and let's wrap this up by selling everything. So 30 star pieces, that's 180k right there. Big pearls, kinda adding up. Uh, feathers, comet shards, rare bones, just kind of things we find. 432,000, not a, a crazy amount. Especially since we're not getting a lot of five stars. Uh, my six star raid that's on the map currently is a Hippowdon that's just way too ugly. And trying to get a raid filled, no one joined. Not a lot of people are, are doing pretty well right now, it seems. And then, you can also see how many candies we have gotten. So it's come together. We're starting to optimize and like not let things pass up. But it's not like you just slam back to back to back to back uh, five star raids all day long. Getting some shards stacked up, some feathers to like kind of touch off. Like I guess if we just end up with several hundred feathers. Oh, that's a free hyper trained Pokemon. Four extra, that's a lot of medium candies. That's that's a Pokemon a third of the way to level 100 right there. Yeah, that's nuts. So yeah, uh, just, just play the game and then you turn around and have crazy stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.